Welcome guys to another episode of Doings Corner. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about a very sensitive topic. Um, this topic, I say is very sensitive because I don't know that this is one of those topics that I don't think we would ever get to a point where we say, okay, this is the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. It would always be like, there would always be people on both sides. And I'm speaking about the topic abortion. Um, I hope that nobody takes anything that we say today to heart. And at the end of the day, the choice is yours. Whether you choose to take out a baby or you choose to keep the baby, the choice is yours. This is just our personal opinions that we're sharing with you. And of course, I'm seated today to discuss with the famous Daniel Rega. Daniel, I'm, I'm liking your outfits. Thank you. You look nice. Thank you. I'm aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. um, I'm going to start this topic because I'm a woman. Yeah. And I feel like women should be the ones championing abortion, not really men, because a man doesn't have a uterus. So. But it also affects the man. But the woman should be the one that should really have the say when we're talking about abortion. Not necessarily because... Who carries the child? Who impregnates the woman? A man, but still, whose baby is it? Who is carrying that life? It's the woman. It's a split decision. It depends on the situation of things. For example, if a man wants a child, right? Mm. Let's say um, it happens um, unexpectedly. The man may be like, oh, I want you to keep this baby. The woman may be like, I don't want to keep the baby for, for, for certain reasons. I think it's the woman. The woman has the final say. You can't say. I don't think no, a no, man you, can no, you say, can't, no, you oh, cannot. don't abort or no, abort. You, no, it's, that's why I say you have to like come to a kind of agreement. You cannot be just selfish about, I want to remove the baby. If you guys have discussed it before, like, I don't have a child, you understand? Mm -hmm. And the baby enters. It's a different conversation entirely. Mm -hmm. When the baby enters without none of you expecting that thing to happen, and it happens, you have to take into consideration, why does this man want to keep this child? Maybe it's a man that maybe yeah. I've been trying of to have. Of course, we would, we would ask for his opinion, but at the end of the day, who makes the final decision? I think it should be the woman. No, but it, this is why a woman doesn't just, you didn't just go to, to the bank and buy it. But thing. she carries the child. She's the one that owns the, the stomach, the uterus. So why should a man be able to tell a woman whether to keep a baby or not keep a baby? It's not when a he's command. not the one that's going to. It's not a command. It's not commanding. He can like an, say, no. he can say, babe, please, I want sense, us to have this sense, child. Or, babe, please, I'm not ready for this child. Wrong in the front. If for me, right, I don't think that. Abortion, abortion is mother. You know I don't think that. I was actually going to ask that question. Abortion is mother. What is murder? Murder is when you get rid of life. If a child is still in the womb, well, he has life already. Yes, it has life that is kind of dependent on the mother's life. So it doesn't have like an independent life yet. If your mother aborted you, know. would you be here? Well, I wouldn't be here, but there are certain situations where you cannot just completely say, say no to abortion. There are certain situations where the only it's time The only time I would say abortion can be like... Um, um, permittable to me anyway is when it comes from rape yes to me personally, rape i feel like but it's not just rape no personally it's not just me, rape i'll give you i'll you, give you another if you if you deliberately had sex mm -hmm. you know that sex leads to pregnancy you didn't take precautions yeah but the fact that you're having sex does not mean you're ready to carry a child then why don't you take precautions why don't you protect yourself but you know there are times that condoms bust there are times that people are even on birth control contraceptives and they still get pregnant these things happen these things are not 100 percent effective it happens but, but when it happens you don't just say oh since i'm the woman okay doctor i want to remove this pregnancy my husband doesn't have a stay just remove it no i'm not saying don't you can of course you can discuss with your husband or your partner but then like when you're, at the but, end but, of the, the final partner, decision your is yours says, please i need this pregnancy I need to keep this pregnancy. If I, I am want. saying absolutely no, I'm not if ready for a husband, child. If I your don't husband, I'm not, going, I'm going to use husband, I'm going to use boyfriend because no one is championing baby mama here. Mm -hmm. If your husband mm -hmm. says, I need to keep this pregnancy for certain, certain reasons, you understand? I want to have this child. Maybe you maybe he. Then he should carry the baby. Why? How, why? Should then he, he should the carry the baby. If he cannot carry the baby, then you are being selfish. He cannot, no, there's no, a, you are. If it you depends, are. No, it depends. No, it depends. If he's saying to me, "Oh, babe, please, I want us to keep this child," and I'm saying to him, "The reason I don't want us to keep this child is because maybe I'm not ready mentally." Do you know what it means to carry life? You have to be mentally ready for that shit. Definitely. You have to be ready for it, like mentally, financially, physically, everything, because your body changes, your hormones change, your mood, everything. It affects everything. It can affect your career. Have, can have, so there's so many things. So if she's saying no... And, and abortion comes a lot of and, and 
kind of endangers a woman in so many ways. No, I'm not saying it doesn't. I think the reason why abortions are so dangerous these days is because of the fact that it's not legal. So people are hiding to do it. I think that you legal can never stop abortions. The only thing you can do is that you can stop safe abortions. And that's what we're doing in this country. We're letting people go to, you know, crooked places, hide to get these things done. If they legalize this thing, then people can go to proper hospitals where people are properly licensed to do it and get it done in a safe way. But because and it's kind of like because them not like it too. I don't know why anybody should shame anybody for getting an abortion because at the end of the day, if you father like that's what I was trying to say like it's not just rape. If you bring a child into this world and you have absolutely no plans or no way to take care of that child, you don't have no money, you don't have no. For me, I feel like there are certain times that it's better for you to have taken out that child. Their Why parents, not just abstain than putting yourself through that Okay, but now, in this case, they did not if abstain. That kid now was, they did not if abstain. that kid now was, so, the, was, was your destiny helper, that was the only person that goes, okay, let me send this child to like liberate you and the family and you flush it out. Well... If you are, if the conditions are not, not right, some, if not the conditions that, are not right for the, that, why why would you bring a child that. to this world when you have absolutely no way to take care of that child? Isn't not better? Ask Do you know that, that there are some people that have they are adults now and they are fucked up human beings because of the fact that you know they did not grow up in the under the right conditions. Definitely, it maybe that maybe it, it would have been better for them if their parents had just taken them out. I would, you, no, I'm telling I would you, that. I, that's what I would say. There are, people, there there are, are certain people, situations that it's better to are, just take out the children. If, if it, into, into wretched families and they still overcame certain things, you understand? You can't say. No, you, it's not just about wretched. I'm not talking about poor families alone. Okay, for example, say a woman now is married to a man that is a complete drunk, is a rapist. Why a, would you? Why would you? Why would you even have any kind of intimacy with a man that is, that is a rapist or a drunk? It happens. These people that why, are drunks are rapists. They, they why, have family. And at the end of the day, why? at the end of the day, somebody can be a drunk or be a rapist, and you're not your even child, very Your child aware cannot of pick their parent, but you can pick the father of your child. I agree. So, I agree. So the responsibility falls on you as a lady. You understand? You cannot, you cannot say, oh, yes. because of my, my my partner or my husband is um, a, a, a serial beater or whatever whatever it is. That's why I want to remove this baby. It makes no sense because you knew these things before. Spray. It's not because it's not because the man is a rapist or whatever. It's because the condition that that child will be born into, the environment that that child will be born into, is not conducive for that child. It's not these days. If you notice, most of I I used to I, I won't even say used to. I'm still really into like serial killer documentaries and everything. I and do watch them too. One thing I realized that I find out that is very common with serial killers is the kind of childhood that they had. The, most of them came from broken homes or came from homes where their father was abusive towards their mother or their parents were like druggies or there was just something not right about their childhood. And there are people who have come from... Wouldn't it have been that, better that's... if that child was aborted than growing up to become a serial killer that would kill like multiple people? So how would the person know that he or she was supposed to be a serial killer when he grows up? That's the reason why I'm saying well, that people, if, there are, there are if people the parents who have, have looked at home, the... There are people who have come from broken home and are still icons today. So you can't. I agree. As, as yes, I agree. Yeah, I agree. The bottom line is that the bottom line is that you can't just say because I am the woman, I have the uterus, I carry the pregnancy, I do the this and the that. I have the ultimate say on who keeps the pregnancy. No, when you, you can't say that. No, you cannot. You, can say, you have the no, final you, you say as a to. woman. You your have, partner you can. Your partner. You have, you have, you have the majority. final say. No, you can. No, you your partner only because can if, just say, no, please, this is what partner, I want. If your I don't think you have want, the right. If your partner wants to keep a baby mm -hmm. for certain reasons, because there are some things men go through that they won't tell you. For example, maybe he was impotent before, and by God's grace, the belly just enter. You can't say because of I'm not physically or mentally. Unfortunately for you, if you are impotent before and the belly enter, if I'm not ready for a child, if I'm not ready to be a mother, do you know what it means to be a mother? Do you know how many people get into like postpartum depression after if I'm not ready for all of that? If I'm not ready for my body to change, if I'm not ready for my career, it's it's see, pregnancy affects a lot of things as much as the blessing, it also children affects are blessings. Men. It, do you understand? But it affects the woman more. It affects the woman more. Let's be honest. Because your career for that nine months that you're pregnant, you cannot get a job. If you're looking for a job, nobody will employ you if you're a pregnant person. That's number one. If you are already even working, you okay. have to at least maybe stay away from your job for a while. It's it's holds you back in certain regards. So it Definitely. is the woman that, that can that, make that, that decision. Is, She's the one it. that will say, okay, you know what? At this stage of my life that I've got into, I'm ready to take a pause on my career. I'm ready for my body to change. I'm ready for these hormones to kick in. I'm ready to start taking care of it. Because the truth is, this who's going to breastfeed that child? The man is not The only thing he can do, which many men don't even do anyways, is maybe wake up at night to help the wife, everything, which many men don't really do. 
So really, the bulk of the responsibility falls on the woman, both when she's pregnant and after the child is born. There's no argument about that. But at the same time, you cannot. So say how can you, you then cannot, say you that cannot demand, say, demand? You cannot say because you are the one who has more um, challenges and more um, responsibilities when you're pregnant and and after before and post pregnancy mm -hmm. that you can now say, okay, since I'm the one, I'm the woman, I'm the one in charge. I'm the one. The baby is literally in my womb. I want to remove it. Yes, you, you can. I that think... is being selfish. Mm -hmm. oh, no, that, that, no, that is well, being selfish. Well, maybe then there are certain I've, situations I've, where it's okay to be selfish then. This this is one of those situations. It's okay what have, what happened? Are you telling me now that let's say you get married today yeah. now or you have a girlfriend now and she happens get to get pregnant. So your girlfriend cannot get pregnant but before you people get married. Who won't give a belay before we get married? It's, it, you now. It can happen. Daniel. How? Condom can bust. Which condom can bust? For we have one bust up. Oh, you don't have you don't have sex. Abstain. Not even about that. Like, <laughs> listen, listen. The thing is that the thing, like I keep saying, this conversation about there's some people that just want to be baby mamas. You understand? Mm. They use pregnancy as a way to like investment. I don't think it's it's an entirely bad thing. You don't I, think, bad... I think I think it's better. I don't think I'm not championing. Don't, I don't want to you, be a baby you mama. About, you I don't want you to be a baby mama. But like you I said, see, you said, sometimes no, it's better to keep that child it, and be a baby mama than to force a man into getting married when you know that he's not ready to be a partner. There are people that are ready to be the same thing. There are people that are ready to be fathers. They're not ready to be partners. If, if someone that wants to be a father to a child, if he can give, get you pregnant and he wants to have a baby with you, why not just marry you? Why degrade you from wife to baby mama? Is it degrading? I don't it's think degrading. it's degrading. No, there are women that don't even want to get married. They just want a baby. Baby mama That's is not degrading. Degrade. No, I don't it think it's degrading. It is no not one degrading. will come out and say, I am it a proud not, baby mama. It is not degrading. I have not, I have not had anybody Excuse that said, you. I have not had anybody that said I am a proud baby mama. Um, this woman that just had a child, Who? I don't um Naomi Campbell, did she have it with a partner? Listen, I, I don't am, think listen, so. There I are women listen. that just want children. They don't not, necessarily listen, want to be married. I am not saying... I am not, saying, not every woman not is sitting saying, down thinking, no, marriage is my, an achievement. Marriage is... You cannot, uh, you cannot say... Not you cannot put like that. baby mamas and married women on the same pedestal. What? You cannot. I'm not talking about the financial um, differences. Like you're saying or, in terms of like moral, like in terms, in terms of, of moral, like moral it's standing. Thing. It's not the same thing. I there, think it there depends is, on the circumstance that you became circumstance. a baby mama. In. Auntie, it's not no, I think it depends on there's the circumstance. Kind of, I think no, context there, matters a there's lot. There's a here. respect that comes with this is my mother. This is my father. You understand? Not when mm -hmm. they say, oh, is that your mother? Yes. And it does the, not mean the father is not present. The father is there. They're just, they're just not you're married. You're not getting the point. If a man is, is ready to financially take care of your baby, he should be financially, he should be ready to marry you. Okay, take this and now. He's cooperating with you. He's married to someone else. You're literally promoting broken home. You talk about broken home. It is better you guys I think, are married, I think there, right? I think there are certain homes that are better broken. Honestly. No, 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 no. If, I think there are no, certain if homes that are If you guys are married, broken. right, and during the course of the marriage, maybe something happened, you guys part ways. You can't co-parent. But not like you're just, okay, um, let me just get pregnant for this man and use him to cut, you know, investment, his riches from a No, family. but why are you thinking? That's the problem. Why are you thinking that? That's what that? most ladies no, do. No, no, not necessarily. Some a lot of ladies do it. Some, no. some ladies, it's not about, of, oh, no, I'm not God. saying that there are ladies that there, don't there are ladies do that Yes, there are ladies that do that. But there are ladies that don't. Babies hey. Because they are, I think time is against them. Not time. Time is never against anybody. You can freeze your eggs. How many people freeze egg? What about Nigeria? No? What about, this is not like a global issue and i'm talking well me i'm going down to the level of nigerians you understand mm. how many people can freeze egg like you said how many people can even afford abortion safe abortion right you understand how many people can freeze egg and be like oh i want to look at unmarried bb or that they're not even doing this well for example <laughs> so that's the thing so it's not about so people feel like menopause is coming i'm about yeah. to cut menopause so I, I need to I have need a like a baby before i cut menopause just in case marriage doesn't work yes. i have a child and there are also there's that but there are also women that menopause is not clocking anything they are not against time then but they're just like you know what i've never really seen myself married but i've seen myself as a mother yeah there are people like and which that which kind of mother are you you can you can Going still be a wedlock. great mother it's wow, not no listen really it's, listen it's not it's not about are you, you for real yes it's wedlock you can you want to sugarcoat it no see 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 the fact that you did not give birth to that child in a family in a family setting as in husband wife child does not mean that it's a bad pregnancy, or is it? I am not always a bad pregnancy. It's not but always it, it's bad. It's a poor decision. Not really. No, it is. It not is really. It depends on what decision. she wants for there is her no, life. The only, she, if the she only if, thing that if I don't want to get married, if I've never seen myself as a married person, but I've seen myself as a mother, that's not a poor decision. That's what I want for my life. It's also very recently that I started thinking. Okay, you know what? I'd like to get married. I'd like to. Before I just wanted to have my baby and just you know. 
there are people that are actually like that. that and you it's not because you, of, mu- you must not have a baby by yourself. You can, you can have. Add, what if I want my own baby, my own child, my then own you offspring? You get married from, the right way. No, and have the baby. Everybody, that's the thing. There's no right or wrong way to live your life. The only thing that there is is there's, the way you want listen, to live your there's life. There's no right way or wrong way to live your life, but there are still things that have to do with morals. We are not. In America, you understand? This is Nigeria. We have customs. We have traditions. You understand? I understand this woke mentality and this woke is in every way is trying to mm. like push and promote. But it seems to remain the fact. You cannot say, oh, um, because I'm rich, I'm financially stable, or maybe I have my life going for me. Let me just find one boy. Because I will do. Let me just find one, one guy, one young boy that I think is okay, that can be a great father. And just give me belly. You understand? If some use it as an investment. Some use it as, oh, if, if, I, I, if, I, if I have this means. pregnancy, I can literally pin this guy down. People do it. Yes, yes, you get. absolutely. And yeah. there are people who feel like, hey, let me just try and carry belly. If it does not work, I abort it. At that time, you're using your child as a collateral. Or maybe I as agree. Some, some kind and, of and that's, and that's very wrong. It's and very that's wrong. very wrong. I agree with that. But I'm just saying that it's not in all circumstances. And, These ones that you and mentioned. there are some people who just feel like, it's just pregnancy and I'll remove it with abortion. They don't care. Yeah, and that's wrong. And, and I'm not sitting here championing for abortions. I'm not sitting here saying, oh, okay, everybody just go have sex and you just get abortions done. No, but I'm saying there are certain sort, um, situations that you find yourself in that it's best to take out that child. I can't even mention, apart from rape, apart from you not having the finance to take care of the child, there's also, okay, you are ASAS, even though I feel like ASAS should not even Why be don't you check those things before you spread? Well, there are a lot of people, you'll be surprised that there are a lot of people that don't know so much about genotype. They don't know. They, maybe they did not find out about it until they got pregnant. But now, thankfully, the science has provided ways to check the genotype of a child before that child is born. In that situation, it is very, very okay to take out that child. I may, I may Are you say, saying that? No, no, that I, be no, wrong? I, no I, may, I may say, I may say, I may say, I may permit that because at the end of the day, you, you don't may. Break, you don't, you don't, or you, no, no. you will permit that. That is, that's, like I, there should not even be any argument about that. It depends. That. It depends. If it's SS, it's a different case in time. I'm not, I'm not saying mm. that, um, SS, some SS do survive. You have, if you have the yeah, money. Yeah, but it's not about them surviving. No, it's about the pain that that child no, is I going know. to go through their entire like said, life. It, it still has to depend on circumstances. And if these are people that have been trying to get pregnant for a long time, mm. I think they will have to reconsider. Do we want to take the risk? No, I think that that's the most wicked thing you can it's do It's left for the child. parents to decide anyways. No, no, I, no, think, left, no, I don't think that anyways. any parent, even if you've waited for 10, 25 years, whatever, I don't think that any parent should bring in a sickle cell child. Because those people, I've worked in the hospital setting. No, I've, I've I, seen I them some, I have, I experience have their crisis. It is, not, it is not. It's not something you wish on your head. Yeah, you it, is, it is horrible. I feel like but, even you as a parent, by the time you start watching your child go through that pain, you start asking yourself, yeah. maybe I should have taken out this child. Because sometimes some of them even pray for death. But there's, That's there, how there, painful but there is no, it is. There is no parent that will be like, I'm looking at my child and I'm like, I think I would have taken out this child. Their parents, not, hey. I'm not. So you're telling me that people that give birth to serial killers, they're not thinking that. That one is they're, different. They're thinking that Omar no, for I, no, come I mean, this I mean baby. kids that are normal upstairs. <laughs> you understand? People that have common sense. People that, they are not mentally deranged. You cannot come out and say, oh, because my son is, or my daughter is suffering through. If it was like that, people would have, people wouldn't put their children on life support. No, they will not say it out, but they would think it in their mind. I don't know about I feel that. like there's a certain but, level of pain that you watch your child but, go but through I, that you like would I, say, I wish that I did not even bring this child into all of but this But I still feel all. like you're kind of like, personally, I feel like you're wrong on saying that a man, a man doesn't have a say when it comes to aborting a child. A it's man doesn't a, have a say. It's a very selfish, it's a very selfish um, I'm not. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna have a say, but you don't have the final say. Your say, your say is like small. You like have you to can't. Compromise. You can't mention you no because, because because if you give birth, if anybody would do the compromising, it's the man that has to do the compromising. No, it's the man. If the woman says, okay, you know, I want to take it out, then the man has to. If the man wanted to originally keep it, then he can. He should compromise and say, you know what. I don't have a say because I'm not the one carrying that child. That is I have a point. question. I know that you I, I feel like I already know what your answer is, but I'm still going to ask anyways. In Nigeria, of course, abortions are not legal. Yeah. Do you think that they should be legalized? No. Why not? No, because I think even as of now, people are taking this, like I, I've given you reasons. People are taking this abortion of a theme like it's just like a walk in the park. It's just like, oh, get me this drug and I flush it out. If they make it legal, people will not longer see the right and wrong that has to go with it you understand people like it's legalized besides what are what are you doing even as it's not legal now people are still doing it like water i know the only thing is you can never stop it that's the thing you You can't stop it the thing is that the thing is that i keep saying you can practice safe sex there are people who literally don't even use any of those they don't take precautions they just feel like since it's abortion nobody will start and go you get yeah you get better you don't need your period take to this in first mm. you understand so they don't even see the the, the your, your womb is going to be affected one way or the other there are people who have done abortion and they can't conceive anymore 
Yes, right, sir. right. Those that's that's have, because that's because they're not going to safe places to get it done because it is not most of the safe, safe places, places are not these, legal. These drugs, I wish that we can get these, to a point where we can drugs, walk into a hospital drugs, and say, I want to get uh, an abortion um, done. What they even call these um, drugs? Um, you used to like control pregnancy and everything. Like this, post pill, um, post pill. Yeah, but this, that's not the same thing as abortion, no. Yeah, but some people still like take it to like flush out. Yeah, but that's not abortion. Uh uh-uh. uh, postino. That's no, not. That's not, not doing post, an abortion. Not, not postino post- itself. There are some pills that put take like when you're pregnant. Oh, okay. You just miss this and okay. Miss this and oh, okay. Yeah, you, yeah. You flushed out through. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. It's abortion. There are people who feel like it is not something that I should be killing myself over. If you enter, enter. And there are some some men will tell you. Don't worry, I have pull out game, I have this nonsense, I have that nonsense. No, we Knowing fully well that they don't want the kid. Yeah. You no, understand? I think I so think women you as a need woman, to yeah, you have women to, need women to, have to take have sense yes. of I don't want to get pregnant now. Mm. It's not about pleasing the man to like collect weeks or something later. I don't want to get pregnant now. I am not ready to father a uh, mother a child. You right. understand? I need to participate sex. You either participate sex with me. Or you find your way. Yeah. It's one thing. Don't say because of it's you want to please the man. Done, it's very easy. It's so easier I'm, said than done. People are looking at the No, 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 no. It's, very, it's, it's, not, it's not black and white like that. There are people that maybe they're so in love with their partner. Their partner doesn't want to use a condom, for example. And because of this love, which, even though I don't agree with it, because I feel like a child is too there, serious there is of an issue have, for you to just say because I love somebody. Planning, you understand? Uh, it matter how we can, try to sugarcoat it. Abortion is murder. That is the first thing that should come to everybody's mind. Like, if they aborted me, I will not be here. My mother would have said, oh, I think I don't burn some children. That can come on, so I make I just rest. Right. I am not ready. She may not even be ready to, like, bet me that time, but she just felt like, let me just, you understand? I think what, I think the conversation we need to have more than anything is contraceptives. I think people shy away from talking about contraceptives. And I think that we need contraceptives more than anything because you cannot stop people from having sex. You cannot stop people from having raw sex. But you, but, that's the but truth. You can pass but the right contraceptives, you can pass yes, the right like family planning, family, that's, that's not, a good orientation to pass. I'm talking about people that are married. I'm talking about people that are single. No, family now. planning is not just, okay. Family Contra- planning should be, it should be uh, for people that are married. Okay, you contra- okay, okay let's use contraceptives. Hustle, let's use contraceptives. Planning. Like there are certain things that you can put now. I think we have like the one that you put in your arm. I don't know those things. Yes, we have the one that you put under your arm that can help you. Okay, to you won't what? get pregnant. So it's like how it's does an, it work? I I don't know what they call it. I've forgotten the name. So you put it inside your arm, and then it helps you. It regulates your hormone one way or the other that you shall not get pregnant. Yeah. Does no get side effects? I'm sure they do. They have side effects. That is the issue. But then there are different types of contraceptives. So you have, watch listen, the one that you just, look for the one that works just, best for you. Why not just practice practice sex. abstinence? Yes, it's easier said than done. That's the truth. That's the if I'm speaking no, no, realistically, no, no, no. It, it, it's, it's not easy. Done, but, it's not but easy. people have done it. There are people that that, that practice How many sex people? Freaks. How many? I don't know. People? I've seen some documentaries. Anyways, I, I cannot even validate what they're saying. But there are people who, are, if you put in the work, it, it starts from today, start from tomorrow. You, but there are people that are like there are people that feel like sex is the only thing they can like offer. You understand? Sex is the only thing they can use like to maybe get their partners, maybe please their because not only women, there are men that feel yeah, like I need good sex to keep this person. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then that process, that put up aborted five times, six times, seven times, and nothing came out from that from that relationship. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, the man wins. Why? Because the man can literally walk away. You as a yeah. woman, you've damaged your body along the way. True. You get. True. So it's embarrassing. It's risky. The only. And you're also murdering. The only. I don't know about the murder part. It's when murder. People, that that it's, thing is an is an ongoing is, argument. Is, I don't know listen, if abortion is murder. To listen, be honest, it's murder because because if people can get, it's not the fetus is no. not really an independent life. That 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 fetus cannot survive outside the mother. That fetus is completely dependent on the mother. But you so be, it's not really life. You when you, when you, you for you to call decision. something murder, you that's an independent life that you are taking. That is not a fetus is not an independent we can, we life. Can go around, it cannot survive listen, outside around, the mother we can go around, or an incubator. We can go around the reasons why abortion is the right thing to do at certain times, but we cannot take a fact we cannot take away the fact that abortion is murder. Because you know that there's a child growing, right? You feel like I don't have this child now. Okay, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I'm not. Say, I can, I mean, I'm not saying that. It's, it's just it's, maybe you can say. I don't even know if I can completely say it's murder, but maybe you can say it's murder, but it's justifiable under certain circumstances. Under certain circumstances, like, like more like, than like, just like, rape. Like, like I've, I well, more than just rape. Even circumstances as small as I'm not ready for my body to change. That's why. Some, because I'm not ready. Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know we we kind of underestimate the effect of how we see ourselves physically. The Definitely. truth is that no, when you true. think that you are beautiful or when you think that you look good, when you, you want to keep it that way for there a long so many, time. There are so many people that are... You that, feel your so best many, when so you look your best sometimes. I've seen some documentaries where some people feel like, um, ah, this pregnancy really changed me. Look at my yeah. before and my after. And later on, 
right? They can't stop praising their children. Like, oh my God, you brought certain things to my. So and there are ha- people also. Do you know that there are people that literally look at their kids and they? I'm so sorry to say this, but it's the truth. There are people that hate their children. Those are wicked parents. Not those wicked. Are, no, are, you don't. You don't. He's no. not selfish. You, no, He's not selfish. He's beyond their control. He's That's not the beyond thing. your control. That's the thing. That's why men need to stop having conversations about abortion because you guys are clueless. It's beyond your control. It's your hormones. Clueless how? You are clueless because you, now you are saying that the child, the, the parent is selfish. It is not the parent. Selfish. Like, it is not that the okay, parent okay, is okay, selfish. Listen, they are listen, not selfish. Listen now. Listen, your hormones listen, control listen, your listen, mood. Let me explain it to you because you are speaking from a place of ignorance. It's not about ignorance. You are. I am a man, right? I am a man. If my mother, for example, now let's let, let me my mother for example, my mother is like my mother maybe makes some certain kind of negative remarks. You don't have to like say from act from their actions, you can tell mm-hmm. like I regret even having you. You don't even have to say it. She herself, she's not like considering how I'm going to feel. I did not beg you to bring me to this world. Mm. You understand? You were the one who said I want to have you, right. or maybe it, it happened it, regardless of the situation, and you. But I did not say, oh, it's time for me to come or send me to a person and mm-hmm. family. Because if everyone wants to pick their family, some people will not even pick the family they came from. True. That is the thing. I agree. You understand? So you cannot blame me for your decisions. I am literally living they're with no, they're, they are not blaming the child, but there are certain things that... But you are that, projecting the hate no, towards me. because they're saying, because it's out of their control. How? Do you think they want to hate their child? They, 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 they're women that give birth to kids, and they're looking at that child, and they cannot feel any bond between themselves and their child. I've seen things like that happen. The women that... Because and they are crying, and they are sad, because they're just like, I don't know why I don't love this child. I don't know why I don't feel connected to this child, but it's just what it is. But something is wrong, and definitely. And they are sad, and it's and out of their control. It's, I, it's like a... It's like a... But, it's like but, a but, but 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 when you are saying I wish I it don't. is hormonal. It is a mental thing. It is something that they, even they themselves cannot shake off. That's but, why I'm telling you when, that sometimes you have to. Sometimes it's, it's as simple as they are looking at themselves at themselves in the mirror and they're like, I don't even like what I look like, and because of that, they're so angry with that child. Then they are projecting the. It's that, not. That, you are saying the same thing. You are projecting your your. It's from. It's you not are projecting from, your insecurities and your hate or whatever you are feeling at that moment at the child. That is it. But it's not, it's not like they want to do that. It's because of how they are feeling. They don't want to do... Their mother, and you are blaming the you child for, your, for We for need your, to... We need to... They are blaming the child for maybe changing appearance, changing diet and whatever. When we come back from this break, it. I'm going to give you an example of something that happened to a mother and I'm telling you that's completely out of our control because no mother wants to do that to their child. We never but we need anything. to go on a quick break and we'll be back shortly. You never see mothers be that. <laughs> Welcome back from that short break. We're still on the topic of abortion, and I'm still seated with Daniel Rega. He's still giving us a lot of ignorant opinions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, before we went on the break, I said I wanted to tell you this story. There yeah. was a story that made the news one time about this woman that drowned a child. I don't know if you you saw I didn't it, see, but that is just she drowned. She drowned. I think her child was like ten days old, and she drowned drowned the child. And, you want to and when it. they no, I'm not justifying it. But when they interviewed her, she said. She feels like she deserves to die. She wants to die because she can't even live with that guilt. But in that moment, that was the only thing that she could get that, herself that to is do. Not... And I'll tell you why I can understand that. It is not right. I'm not making excuses for that, but I can understand it. I've never been pregnant. Yeah, I've never had to take out a child. But I've been on my period. And I'm telling you, there are times on your period and it feels like... Your period has not even started. Just a few days to your period. It feels like your entire world is coming to an end. Like, the smallest things... Like you are feeling it Sis, unnecessarily, like overwhelming. I have been on I'm period. telling you, I know it's different from, for everybody. It's, it's very different, it's different for everybody. But because my sister is on period, she will not say because I'm on period. Let me just start it's not, projecting it's my not insecurities just, it's on your, everybody. It's your hormones. That's mo- you don't control your hormones, my dear. You don't. You have absolutely no control over your hormones. That is the reason. It is hormones that make women grow, baby. That make women grow chest. You know what they have you, no control you know over you, it. You know your saying. hormones can you know, literally you, go haywire say, and you are, are just saying that you understand what that woman You can what, never what understand until on, you are in her based shoes. Based on hormones. Forget shoes. Based on hormones, you are literally saying that you understand what some men go through when maybe something happens in the family and they just lash out at the kid and kill their kids. No, that's different now. What? What are you talking about? That's different. If you're angry at a situation, it's different from 
First of all, so nobody, hormones nobody can so love a child. Let me tell you. Not, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's right. I, I said it that it's wrong, but I'm telling you that I can understand to what because I have experienced. I'm not going to no. mention this, but I have experienced a mother give. See, you can nobody have, can love no, a child more have, than the mother. Let see, me tell you. Even you, you the father, you cannot love your child. It's not just you mood can have mood swings. It's not just mood swings. You are looking. It no. Ten ten day old. It does not. Nothing justifies. Ten day old baby. Nothing justifies. Then why is it that it's based on hormones? Nothing justifies it, but trust me, there's a level of hormonal imbalance. There is no hormonal, hormonal everything imbalance. that can come over you that you are like, I for a mother that so is supposed like... to love a child to be looking at a child and saying, I don't feel any form of connection no, to this child. Something is wrong somewhere. I, I, I don't I you I'm, cannot blame it on hormones. That's what happens you when cannot. you force a mother to keep a child. Sometimes she told you that they first. No, no. Child. Some people. That's what happens to them. Some people they force them. Maybe their parents felt like, oh, our family we don't do abortion, no. or uh, um um or the or the or the husband said you must keep this child. We want, and she knows that she wasn't ready. She knows that she's not. You need to be mentally ready up there to keep a child. Trust me, it's not just about being physically ready. Mentally, it's not then, easy. Then, then when then, it's not then easy. when you keep the child, then when you keep the child. And probably you neglect your duties as a mother because of hormone, like you. You, you are said. not neglecting. No, hold on. No, you are not no, when, proposing when you, neglecting. You, put, you are not able listen, to just like you, people that are depressed. Put, okay, would you blame when they, when somebody that is depressed goes ahead to kill themselves? Do you want to say that they wanted their lives to end that way? They wanted. There are certain pain that you go through that I will is never completely blame, I, listen, beyond listen, your control. I will not. I will. Not, I will not blame suicide victims. But at the same time, I feel like, in a way, I will feel like. Because what people don't understand, when you commit suicide, you are not you are not solving any problem. You are just putting more pr more pains on people you are going to leave behind. So I in mean, a way, it's, it's kind of like a selfish decision. In a way. I don't agree that suicide is a selfish decision. That's in a one way, thing no, I will no, never no, agree in a with. Way, that. I am not. Listen, Daniel, I'm, I am not. I am let not me trying, give you an example. Listen, I am not trying to blame because I don't know what they pass through. Exactly. But you, know, exactly. you should also the remember. You should also remember what your family and your loved ones are going to feel. If, for example, I say I want to commit suicide today now. I should, remember, I should be thinking of They what, are in I too should... much pain to focus on what their family because members are, are feeling. Because, Daniel, because let me paint it for you. Let me paint it for you in the easiest way for you. If you put your hand on this table now, somebody brings a hammer and they are hitting this hammer on your hand continuously and you are looking at your brother or your sister on the side and your sister is about to maybe fall into gutter. Trust me, you're not going to be looking at, let me save my sister. You're more focused on that pain that you're going through. There's a level of pain that you're going through as a human being that I you cannot understand. think about the next person. I understand. So but if you can I make understand. excuses for, but, for but suicide have you victims, seen, have you, seen you can what, make excuses for mothers you, that are going through postpartum depression. It's the same thing. I the same I believe thing. Depression seen, is no. depression. I believe you've seen... Okay, so wait. I believe you've seen... Hold on. I believe you've seen what suicide victims families go through it's there painful are people that for the family that, that absolutely that, that yes that the family can never regain themselves absolutely, they are broken yes. for life yes you understand now yes. you have to think of things like if i should kill myself for example for example me now if i decide okay maybe life after me mm. because sometimes life will just tire person you understand <laughs> not just i'm not saying that i'm depressed <laughs> but maybe i wait till i come here come to this country and tire me but that's not the same thing as now, i'm just trying to give you like a, mm -hmm. like a reference now there's something you want to do just on personal decision not even about suicide or whatever mm -hmm. when you think of ah how will my parents react with this thing now? Like how you think of or that that, that decisions that that decisions that parents make, right? They they're over the age, but they feel like ah, because of the sake of my kids, I have to I'll keep do going. This. Yes, you understand. There are certain times that you can't People, say that. There are certain times no, that it's but, not but possible. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's not possible. Is not, it's keep. not an option, and I don't blame. People who I almost I almost I will sit down here and judge them for coming to suicide because I don't know what they have gone through. Exactly. I may not even be able to take exactly. what happened, what they've done. Exactly. But at the same time, we have to look at the aftermath. You have to look at people that are being left behind. They are the ones that will feel the pain. Unfortunately, More. unfortunately, the now, truth is that human me, beings are designed to, to be selfish, and this affects us in every aspect of our but life. But that is not where we the human beings, her child. we human beings, consider ourselves first before we think about other people. You are a Christian, if right? They, yes, you are a Christian. I'm a Christian. Why did Moses mother not drown Moses? I don't know what was Moses' story. I don't know his story. I, I'm not saying you know Bible school <laughs> anyway. But now you be done before basket. You come float and fufu. Fu, Quite entire um, Pharaoh has. There are mothers that. Do you think it's easy? It was easy for her to it even not, leave her child. It was not go. easy. Do you it think was, it's even easy? because that child could have died? It was not that easy. child could have yeah, died. But, but in that water. Risk, but she took the risk of. Even I need that, to have this child. even I need that, to keep this see, child. even you that, understand? some people will still so, blame her and say, "Why would you leave your child to just feel like that?" Yeah, because she was, she looked at she that child and said, "I can't help this child. I can't help this child." 
than to kill the child herself. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not championing kill your child. Though. Please, nobody should kill their child. But you say you understand that, No, no, no. That. I'm just, I say, I can understand that the mother must have been going through a ridiculous Nothing. amount of pain. There is no amount of stress A ridiculous pain amount of pain. That will make you, I, there, what she literally see, did was that there she are other her, ways. No, there are other ways to make it. See, there are other ways. She projected her, she projected her, her issues on the child. There are other, see, Which there are other better solutions. Children, Maybe thing. dropping that child in a police station. Maybe dropping that child in an orphanage. Maybe you dropping must not, that child. Listen, we are, we are not, yes, we are not there are the other where, better. But we are not in the era where you cannot, you must no longer raise your child yourself. Yes, you I like agree. If you feel like they are important to you, drop, drop that child. I agree. Understand? But there are certain situations where you are not thinking right. Postpartum depression is one of those situations. When you, if you can sit there and make excuses for a suicide victim, that suicide victim was depressed, right? That's why they killed themselves. Po postpartum de depression is also a type of depression. It is still depression. Don't look at it like it's but, something but, else. But you it don't, is still you don't depression, though. No. But you don't put yourself first. You don't. Omo, it's easier said than done. I know it's Daniel. easier said than done. But it's easier you said don't. than done. I'm looking at this child. I want to love this, this child. Not, I want to be connected not, to child. But I just cannot. This is not... That this is, is out not, of my this is not... Oh, I am pregnant. Let me flush this child out. This is now... I carried nine months pregnancy or maybe eight maybe premature exactly. I don't know exactly then you, then you bend that child exactly. and you are looking at this child looking at you Daniel, and you say I think this is common you. sense I think this is common sense for somebody to have gone through nine months do you know what it is to carry a child for nine months do you know how difficult that process is and that person to go through labor pain and finally look at that child and say I'm going to kill this child trust me that person first of all is not in their right mental like they're not okay mentally number one they are going through a lot nobody wants to go through that amount of stress amount of pain amount people, of everything and just want to kill that child that nobody that wants to do that, that for sacrifice you know that one uh, that, no, one, is no, still that there. one is different and that I one is different i won't say that like that post, post no, of course of course there are evil people but, like that yeah, there are evil people but, but evil, there are people evil, that and see that it is really depression evil is evil if you are going to post that you and i will not be here doing if you are going to i know that but also if they are if they are butted at of Hitler, you will not be out there killing people. We will not use. Listen, we will not if use. If they aborted you are different serial justify, killers, you are, you are there are some people that would have been better justify, for them to have been aborted. You are trying to justify those are grown adults. They can, they, they should be held accountable for their own. No, but if their parents had aborted them at birth, they would have saved the world. Which person's parent would be like, let me give birth to this child now? I believe you are going to be serial killer tomorrow, but let me just give birth to this no, child. You, this you, is not. Uh, no, you will no, not no, know, no, of course. So, person is a um, booze and actor. It doesn't work that way. But I feel like, like, come to terms of, um, come to the. Um, of abortion i just feel like it doesn't make any sense that if you are you as a parent whatever depression you are going to whatever post whatever you, you call it they are going to you do not project your child should not be the one taking the heat or whatever um, absolutely not no. yes and i'm sure that they but, also don't want to put the heat on their child no but, but when you do it when you do it they, there's no justification for it because no, because those kids are helpless they are depressed that's the justification you, they are depressed. You are supposed to be strong for your kids. They are depressed. You are, okay, no, so you when, when somebody, you are supposed to be strong for your kids, are, but listen, if I, whatever, I have to be strong for myself whatever, first, whatever, if listen, I don't have that strength, mother, I cannot be strong for somebody mother, else. As much as I love my child, a, if I'm drowning, I need to save myself to be able to save that child. By killing your child or... So, listen, I'm not... There are, oh, that's why I said there are, other, there are better ways. Dropping the child at orphanage, whatever, whatever. But I'm telling you that when a mother has gotten to the point where she has now killed that child, it is wrong. There's no justification for it. Period. But that mother must have been going through a ridiculous amount of There's pain no for her you to get to that point. Them at orphanage. These days, church even welcome children. Go and drop it in one Catholic church. I think to, I think to just to avoid these there. things, people need to make sure that they're first of all they are ready for a child it takes a lot to be ready for a child a lot. it's more than not just, just money, money. Not just money it's more than just money yeah. you have to be ready like hey god you have to be ready to forget yourself and take care of somebody for a long time it's a full-time job there, there are times that you know it's a full-time job it's not it's, it's not a, and it's not just for, it's not for women no, because i think you ready. guys think it's just but about both the father men and the play mother a very yes big role. yeah most people turn out will i say wayward or um a news and society because they don't have um, father figures in their lives. Absolutely, it happens a lot. Absolutely, in yeah. See, people feel I like think the presence of a, of a father it's very, very in important. a child's Whether life is so, or not, so it is very, very important. important. Yeah. And women have to pick their partners very carefully. You Absolutely. cannot go and meet uh, someone that has nothing to offer anybody Absolutely. in society and start blaming. Yeah. And say, uh, 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 I want divorce. You don't know the man. For you know, there's there's you know one thing my mom used to say to myself and my sister when we we're growing up. My mom would always say, "The most important decision." that you would make Father in your, your life is choosing who you marry, who you have kids with, because it would affect you in every aspect of your life. Whether it's coming back home happy or your career or your or the kids you have, even to the way your child looks, the father of your child 
matters. Like so, of course, for women, I if think we need to. Child, we need to take time. If the, if the father of your child matters, they also should have a say. In the final decision of who kills Nobody is saying the they don't have a say. They can no, give their no, they can give their opinion. Saying, no, they don't have, have the no, final say. That, they don't have the final say. You are saying that even if no? a man comes and tell you, oh, doing um, okay, now you have Kai Bele. He's, he's, I want to have this kid. He can Please say whatever he wants to and say. Like, but no, he I'm can't... not ready because I want to check after my looks and what whatever you, you want even to as, do. Even as time. fickle as that, as fickle as that sounds, it's very, very important. And it's selfish. Tr trust me. It's the selfish. way you look sometimes you, you, affects you. You should be able to adjust your plans to accommodate the if child. If you're not ready, you're not ready, sorry. Nobody should make you ready. Then you Nobody practice safe sex. If you're not ready, you're not ready. There are times that there are times that it's not sex. like you wanted Simple it to lead to pregnancy, but it's happened. If you're not ready, then you're not ready. The, the man doesn't have the right to tell you we should keep this child. No. I'm not saying he's not has, I am not saying the man he has does not the have ultimate a say. final say. I'm not he saying say, you he say you yourself you yourself should be considered 10%. No. How many percent? How much percentage is it? 50 50 50 call. With me, that I'm the one that I'm going to carry the baby, the man only has 10%. It should be 50 50. 10% 50 50. No, you can't say 10%. I'm telling you. And even if that 10% is with Beg. So when, so when, beg, so when, so when beg, you decide oh. to now keep the baby and you give birth, the man will not have 70% or 80% of the responsibility. That time, you will not have 10% no, of responsibility. What no, are you not saying? All he's doing is providing and maybe assisting. The bulk of the work is still Which on the work? mother. The do you know what it means to breastfeed a child? Do you know what it means to do you know what it means I am, to I, I express the breastfeed a child? Relax. Do you know what it means people, to what my the, have, I'm not saying I'm the not fact saying, that your mother does not mean it's easy. It, it, I'm not saying there it's are easy. women that I am not saying it's easy. There are women that but throughout you can, you the entire say, you period. cannot say a man has ten percent when it comes to pregnancy. Then when you give birth, your responsibility now shift from okay. How many percent do you think you have? As, I mean, how many percent of responsibility do you have after giving birth? As the woman, yes. Omo, it's still like night to you. How? Because caring for that child, the only thing the man is doing in most cases is maybe providing money. Caring, so you think that men are the just bulk there to the, money? No, they are not just that, but most men, that's all they do. Mo there are men that actually believe that that's the, that, that's the only response. There are men that will even not stay that, up. Even that they will not that stay providing, up. you think yes, it's easy? Yes, it's not easy. It's nobody saying it's easy, but you, it's nothing compared to the hours. It's nothing. It's nothing you compared. Because, if you are comparing it to the hours, the time that it takes, auntie, breastfeeding, auntie breastfeeding, looking after that child, staying up at night, if, if giving up your career for nine, for, and you think, for years, and you think some men have not given up their career for their children. I'm not saying that men have not. Some men have, but if you look at it, we're looking at general statistics now. Who puts, who sacrifices more? After a child is born, you can't, you can't, the woman. You can't say who sacrifices in more. General, who sacrifices you can't say in general, who sacrifices more is the woman. Every, Are you saying the man listen, sacrifices more? A man will not come and breastfeed when there's a woman. Of course, exactly. They, that's the so reason that the is, woman that sacrifices that, more. That is, it's not about sacrifices more. Okay, this, please. This I'm is, asking you the listen, question: Who wait, sacrifices more when I, a child is born, it's the a man or the woman? Thing. Wow. I'm going to say, do you know what I'm saying? It's in what way is it fifty-fifty? You as a woman, for example, now, okay, you are there to like take care of the kid, breastfeed, bathe and wash. If you have mother-in-law. The workload is kind of reduced. If you have, I'm just being frank. frank if you have good mother in law, if you have good mother in law, if you have mm. siblings who can help, sometimes the men even wake up and sit with all these things. Yeah, sometimes. Not every time, you understand. Now, you are trying to say men only provide um, financial That is most, most I'm of not that, saying only. My, but for most men, most, that's most, really okay, where let's they say think most men. Let's use your English now. Most men, right? Now, if the man doesn't provide financially, for example, let's say you marry one of these men that they it's rather not stay, responsible. It's responsible. Or it doesn't have. Do you know that that can also affect? Affect you mentally. Absolutely. Yes, Nobody so is taking that, away. So the fact that the man is providing that much, giving you that kind of comfort, like, okay, since he's taking this... Because you know how much is baby food, for example. I know you know that. what it means. Like See, you, call your, you call your husband, Daniel. I want to go and do um, circumcision, come and carry me. It gives you some kind of leverage Daniel. to, like, be relaxed. See, everything is important. Finance is important. You cannot, you cannot, say, you cannot say you contribute more. What I'm more. arguing you with you is that it's not 50-50. It's 50-50. It's not 50-50. And that 50 -50, I promise no. you, it's not 50-50. Because listen, a woman that has given birth is both taking care of herself, to. taking care of the child. It is not It is not And a man is taking care of the family, taking care of himself. You don't understand the workload. You most, see this argument. You don't understand we, the workload. We are just go going through. to have to agree to disagree because it can never be 50 50. No, Trust me. It is 50 50. It's not easy to provide. I give men, I would always give men kudos for providing. It's not easy to go out then and Then you make will not money. give them 10% when it's it comes easy. to making children babies. Not, it's 10, they don't get more than 10%. In fact, if you reduce some, they don't get. Two now. Not two. In fact, now you, you go carry the belly. Now you go buy the belly. Yes, now me the drum. They don't, you cannot tell me that a man has 50% say in whether I keep a child in my have. They should Your husband should have 50% No, they should do. No, no, You no. should be able to listen to your husband to be like, oh, why do you want to keep this pregnancy? No. I think I can, no. we can work I am the one that things. knows if I'm ready or not. I am the one that knows my body. I'm the one that knows if I'm ready for that amount of work. If you, okay. If I'm let, ready to okay, give up on my let, career let, for a while. Let's turn it if I'm ready to, now. I'm let's the one that knows. If, for example, you're ready to get pregnant, right? Let's say you're ready now. Your career ready, whatever is working out for you. Right. Right. 
and be like, oh, I want to get pregnant. I think we should make a baby. And your husband say, I'm not ready for that now. How would you feel? No, and, you should... you, and you really want the baby. Well, you should also still listen to your husband in that regard. But at the end That's of the day, you. at the end of the day, if no, you are you able want to, that baby, you, yeah, let's say if you, you I want do, the you baby, do first in, of all, you need that baby. You just yeah, this is the time to get that baby because this is the time you've planned out that I want to have a baby. I'm ready to be a mother. I'm now. going to ask him the reason is not ready. If his reason, he doesn't need to give a reason. It depends. It's, it's, if his it's, reason it's is spam. see, if his reason is this, it's, it's he's not going to carry the baby. If his reason, no, is, no, is, if his you, reason you is that have, he cannot have, financially have, take care of that no, child, and no, I can no, financially, no, I'll have the baby. You don't even have to ask him so many eh, So what's you have the reason? Percent, since you want to do like that, he can tell you I'm not ready to have baby with you. But at the end of the day, she has the final say. If she's already pregnant, she's the one that decides no, whether she's she, going to she's abort not yet it pregnant. or you not. Understanding. Okay, if she's not yet pregnant, no, oh, no, no, what no. Will you now do? No, if I'm not pregnant yet, then you want I have the to wait. Yeah, if I want the pregnancy, and it's not way to get... I don't agree. I don't agree to forcing pregnancy on anybody, whether man or woman. Do you, you understand? Not what I'm asking if you. he's not, if I'm if not pregnant, you are, no, yet, you want to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are menopause is like one month away, or two, or maybe one year away. For example, now mm -hmm. menopause, they say half are done. You don't need reach you. I wanted one. You know, as I need to have a baby, I have pictured myself being a mother for years. Then go ahead and have I a baby without the child, without the man, if he's not ready. Your go husband. Ahead. Yes, if I'm already getting to menopause and it is my dream, I want to I have mean, a child. Oh, 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 so it's your dream now. So now that it's your dream. Because I'm the one that's going to carry the child. Oh, really? Yes. So, so when is the dream of the man that, that he is ready to have a baby? He's not the one that's going like, to carry the, the child. Be he's not the one that's carrying the child. At the end of the day, whoever carries the child is the one that makes has the final decision. Whether to keep it or to remove it. Whoever carries the child. Now, it's a different thing if I'm not... Then you're going to be a selfish mother. Now, you know, it's a different thing if I've not... If we've not gotten pregnant yet. We're just... Maybe we're just getting married. Okay, he's... How does it make sense? How does it make sense? How does it make sense? Then we can wait until we are both ready. But if I'm already pregnant, the decision to keep or Why take out that child you is majorly my decision. You are not ready, are not ready, to, are not ready to accept the fact that, that he's ready. That you should find a way to compromise. Maybe like work around your career. He's not telling you post your career because pregnancy. You is are posting your career. Nine months. Let's say give or take one, two, three years. Right, one to three years. Do, I you, am just saying. do you understand how, how much time has that's that's four years that you have people are like pregnant that. nine people, months plus see, three years taking people care of are that pregnant. Child. Yeah, jumping molar with nine, eight months, seven months. Do you months. think it's easy? It's not easy. The fact that people no, are doing no, the way it, you, who wants, you are, you are I, I would never like, want to, like, I would never take like, public transport when I'm pregnant. God forbid, I don't even think now that I'm not pregnant. Lucky for so, you. So, there are but people that don't want to go through that. But now you can be pregnant, you see, live your luxury life. Absolutely. So, you cannot say because of my career or whatever. I, I'm not. I think it would affect my career. How ah, yes, you, your body will change. What do you mean? You can, there, are yes, that, no. there are women that there are women that it depends on what is most important to you as a woman. Then you take, if then you take if being a career woman is most important to you, that three years or four years that you're taking off would affect you to set you back. You know how much you could have achieved in those three four years. There's so much you could have achieved, but then you have to put it on pause. So it depends on what is most important to the woman. If it is career, then she's not ready to have the baby. Then Sorry then, for you as a you man. Not if you're ready. In Okay, then because, that's fine. If your husband, At the end of the day, if, your husband if nobody really is forcing wants him baby, to stay with you, he can leave. Okay, if, if, God he forbid can now, leave. if God forbid now, that means you are not even in love with the person. You... It's not about not being in no, love. Okay. If, I can okay, be okay, in love, let, but okay, I can let, know let, that let I'm assume, not ready assume, for this let's stage. Assume, let's assume you're pregnant now, right? Mm -hmm. And God forbid, it never happen. God forbid. Amen. You take pregnancy test, right? And mm -hmm. you know, oh, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. I what do I do with this? Um, what do I do now? And maybe doing Part of the day, you heard that maybe your husband was involved in a ghastly accident. God forbid. God forbid. Mm -hmm. God forbid. Over, over, over. No, go happen. Fear mm -hmm. You heard that your husband, uh, the person's husband is in a ghastly um, motor accident. Mm -hmm. And you know how you love this man. You want to have your baby with this man. And you are not ready yo, to have that baby before. What would you do? At the end of the day, is my decision. I will go back and think about it. Am I ready? Do Love I want to life. continue this person's I know this, this Do man. I want to? That's a decision and that this I have to see. You at the end of the day. Support. Maybe on life support. At the end of Please. the day. Whether on Can life support or not on you life say, support. No, uh, no it's, my, it's, not, my... it's not something. No, now you can't say it like that. That's insensitive. No, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm that's not saying. something that you will still now go back on your own and think about and be like, okay, you know what? But at the end of the day, the decision is still going to be yours. And that's all I'm trying to make here. No, the but, decision, but you, you that's narrow it down to like making three or four percent. I'll be one percent or whatever. Ten percent. And I stand no on my word. Fifty percent. It should be a fifty. Wait, wait, not fifty fifty. So, 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 okay, when it comes to pregnancy. The man gets them, but when it comes to paying the bills, 
the man has 70% to take care of or 80%. For bills alone. But the woman is every doing every other thing. Every other thing they have to do is spend. And how many men are really, really doing You'll be surprised that it's most many women that are even carrying these about, bills. I'm not talking about... But you know what? That's even this. another topic. The thing is this. We have spoken at length about this topic. And the thing is, it's a very sensitive topic. So we very would sensitive. always First of all, agree I think, I think I we can always agree that abortion is, is wrong. Because it's more than first of all. Unless given some circumstances. Un exactly. Unless thing. under certain circumstances. And yes. men should have 50% in the sale no, of a pregnancy. No, no. A because woman, a woman has the final say on whether she keeps the baby this is or not she takes house. out the baby. The man does not have the Men final say. The man can suggest and say, please, I will do this. Please, I want you to do this. But at the end of the day, the woman has the final say. But I have to wrap this up. And what I would say to this is, hmm. at the end of the day, what I think is best is... If you're not ready for a child, abstain. abstain. Simple. We say I said that's the first thing we're agreeing on. <laughs> if you're not ready for a child, men also have fifty percent. She agreed on that just now too. No, I can never agree to that. And if you cannot abstain, please practice safe sex. The condoms out there, the contraceptives out there. I beg, go. Please just abstain. It's do your research you. and do whichever one works HIV best is real, for you. All this thing. Just avoid drama. Please. Just <laughs> we abstain. have to go now. I hope you guys have learned a thing or two. At the end of the day, the decision is yours. What you decide to do. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Ciao.